Hi guys, so in this one we're going to learn how to create our own icons from the assets we already downloaded and we will do it all in Unreal Engine so we don't need to download any additional content. Um, and for that what we need to do is go to your third person, Blueprints, and in here we're going to create a new folder. This will be our icon creator. We open that up. Uh, first thing we need to do is right click and we need a render. So type in render target. This one will be our icon render. We open that up. And here you can see size X and size Y, which will be your size of your icon. Obviously, the larger they are, the better quality, but also they take more space and longer time to load. So I think 256 and 256 is a sweet spot for an icon. So leave that, just save it and close that. Go back to your uh, icon creator folder and right click here. Create a material, new material, and this will be our icon underscore m for material open that up and in here we need to change this one to user interface we also want to make it translucent uh, and now we need to get a texture target texture sample sorry texture sample and this will be our render that we created so i can render change this one here you can connect it to the final color one thing what we need to do for icons we don't want to have any backgrounds on them so from the it's rgb a so a is opacity and we need to uh, do one minus so one type in one minus I will invert it basically and we plug it into opacity. Now apply, save. And what we need to do now is create new blueprint. So go to blueprint, blueprint class, actor, and this will be our icon capture underscore BP. So open that up and here what we need to add first is a static mesh. So add static mesh. This will be where we place the object. Uh, next thing we need to do is add scene capture. So scene capture component 2D. Uh, and you can change field of view to something lower it will make the camera further so change it to like 40 and now down here texture target we're going to send it to our icon render and that in turn will create a material out of it and we can do a pre preview here so we can see what icons we're creating so first thing, just add a plane, plane, this one just rotate it here by 90 degrees, drag it somewhere out of the way, and now we made the icon without the background, so if we show an icon here, it will be without the background completely, but I want to see the background, so I just duplicate this. Uh, and on the first one we created, we're just going to change uh, the material. So here, element zero, we're going to change to our icon underscore M, our icon material. And now, if we click on our static mesh, and we change the item to the iron axe we created so the iron axe static mesh now we should be able to see it on the all right one more thing 
don't make a scene capture component a child of your static mesh add it to the root and that way you can move it separately and now when you move it back you can already see your axe so leave it maybe here and now you can just rotate and adjust your icon your static mesh and this is what your icon will look like so for weapons I maybe like to have it a little bit you know in a 3d way or something make it a bit closer just turn it around and just play with it until you're happy with the icon you can also switch off the snapping uh, I'll make it easier to position so maybe a little bit more of this side there we go once you're happy with your icon what it looks like um, one more thing actually we could add is a point light because usually the items are not bright enough to the icons once you create them and we can attach it to the scene capture which we already had done and then the point light you can see here in the intensity you can change it to lumens and adjust the intensity but I'll leave it only like 20 lumens because it's gonna be too bright and maybe the point light is actually behind so you need to make it in the front of the item there we go and just a little illumination there we go and once that's done you right click on your icon render and here you create a static texture and I will create the icon for you we can open that up one thing we need to change you can see the axe is invisible and we can see the background so we need to do it the opposite way we need to change min alpha to 1 and max alpha to 0 there we go you can also while you're here change the texture group to user interface so it displays displays a little bit better as an icon uh, where do we have user interface UI um, you can also if you like you can make it sharper so it won't have such a bad edges as well but it obviously takes a little bit more memory as well so I leave it on no map maps and compression settings you can also change the user interface to the There we go, we save this, can close this, rename this to iron axe underscore icon. And now in our data table, go to blueprints, items data table, we change this icon to iron axe icon. Save it. And as I mentioned, these items in the world need to be reloaded. You need to either close the game completely and open it again, or you just reload them here, or you just de delete them. But if you don't do it, it will still show you the old icon. So I'll just quickly change it to none and iron axe. And now if we go here and pick them up, we got nice icons that we created ourselves. Perfect. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.